everyone. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we give thanks for answers to prayers, some large, some small. But most of all, they have all been important. Thank you for your answered prayer for a new minister for Mutley. We pray Nick will feel welcome and in time part of the Mutley family. Also, Sally will settle into, into their new home and when possible enjoy looking around the city. Also, church family will need to call on new elders. Nominees should be filled with the Holy Spirit, know their Bible, have wisdom, discernment, and able to work with Nick as part of a team. They will have discussions about church life and also matters regarding our building. This is something we need to really pray about and think carefully and, have, and be mindful of who we nominate. Dear Lord, we pray for members of our church family living in care homes on their own who are unable to come because of ill health issues. May they know your love and be aware that someone is praying for them and does care. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers regarding Simon Howard, now out of the London Hospital. May he know God's peace and his healing love. We give thanks for Fiona and her team who care for the homeless, those in need, suffering from various issues. Bless them all, Lord. Keep everyone safe. And bless them that they even were able to do something during lockdown. And are still continuing with the soup run and with the uh, food bank. Lord, we cannot fail to notice something could be world changing in this part of the world. I speak about the G7 summit in Cornwall, almost on our doorstep. How can we ignore it? Heads of state, prime minister, and even an American president, joined today by Sir David Attenborough, who will be talking about the planet. Govern the hearts and minds of all in authority, for they will, for their well-being of our world, give them discernment, wisdom, and peaceful results. We bring to you the needs for mass vaccination here and in other parts of the world. Pray we will accept the moving of the end of lockdown date if it happened. Thank you that all protesters who are in Cornwall did it in, as far as we know, a relatively peaceful manner, um, without much disturbance. Bless them all, Lord, and may today's events go well. We ask this in our loving name. I'm now going to hand over to you. Hi, as we continue in prayer, we think of our wonderful Queen, who's been part of this weekend, and for the delegates, as they return to their countries, that real change will come about as a result of Brexit, particularly um, the issue with Northern Ireland, and also, as we've mentioned, climate change. And we also pray for relationships between governments for real peace, a lasting peace, that they will work together to support the poorer nations get their vaccinations because the virus does not recognize borders. We thank you for all that's been pledged 
may it all come to fruition. We move on to our missionary partners who work in various parts of the world. We pray for them as they spread your word and show your love, and particularly as they're working in very vulnerable countries. We continue to remember Joe and Ilka and Zeke as they spend time in England before moving to Madagascar for Dave and Alison working with Wycliffe Bible translators at home. Lord, we have our brothers and sisters across the world who are suffering persecution for their faith. May they be mindful that we are praying for them and supporting them and may their testimony have an impact on those who live around them. There is so much we could pray for, Lord, but as you told us, we must pray for leaders, we must pray for brothers and sisters, we must pray for those who are marginalized, Lord, we are all one big family, really. Help us to support one another, both today and through the years to come. Amen. And which Linda and I are just going to say the Lord's Prayer, and you can join in, in behind your masks. Right. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen.